My name is Matthew Lally and I'm an instructor at the Seaver Autism Center. And I'm super excited to tell you a little bit about our research on autism. I'm working with Dr. Joseph Buxbaum to connect rare mutations in autism to common biological pathways. Let's start with rare mutations. Dr. Buxbaum and other fantastic scientists in the Autism Sequencing Consortium recently led the largest and most successful genetic study in autism to discover mutations linked to this disorder. Through this effort, they found around 400 genes with mutations that contribute to the risk of developing autism and other related neurodevelopmental disorders. This is truly foundational work in the autism field, but it also poses a major challenge. Before we can translate these findings into eventual therapeutics, we first need to understand the functions of each implicated gene. Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder, which means it affects the developing brain. Each autism risk gene might affect different types of cells in the brain or act at different time points during development. So studying each of the 400 genes separately using animal or human cellular models would require thousands of years. Instead, we need to find a way to study many autism risk genes at the same time and to discover their shared pathways in human brain cells. So we're developing a system to do exactly this. We're living in an age of revolutionary biological and technological breakthroughs, including induced pluripotent stem cells, CRISPR, and single cell RNA sequencing. Our work combines all three, and I'll tell you a little bit about each. First, induced pluripotent stem cells. We can't access brain cells directly from living people. Instead, we can collect blood or skin cells and convert these into induced pluripotent stem cells. We're then able to direct these cells to become any cell type that we want, including human brain cells. Second, CRISPR-Cas9. This amazing technology enables us to easily perturb any gene that we wanna study. Using something called a guide RNA, we can direct the Cas9 protein anywhere in the genome. So we use it to disrupt the autism risk genes in human brain cells. The final piece of our platform is single cell RNA sequencing. This technology lets us investigate multiple risk genes at once. For each risk gene, we use CRISPR to disrupt the gene in thousands of individual human brain cells. Then using tiny droplets, we measure gene expression changes within each cell. Gene expression profiles represent a signature of cellular activity, health, and identity. We use these signatures to determine which biological pathways are commonly disrupted by autism risk genes. Importantly, we can group autism genes by their signatures to reveal risk genes that act through the same pathways. This will let us go from the 400 autism risk genes to hopefully a small number of pathways. And each of these biological pathways will be an important target for developing therapeutics.